Stampin' Friends. My name is Ayana Johnston and I'm a new Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Stampin' Up! Christmas Delicate Thinlets and Oh What Fun card. You can get the supply list for this card on my blog at www.checkthisout.stampinup.net. There's also a great first customer order special as well as some upcoming monthly madness order offers I'll be giving out. So be sure to check out my blog. You're going to need the following stamp set for this card. We'll be using the Oh What Fun stamp set and we're going to be using the Happy Christmas, this cute swirl, and this Wishing You a Sweet Season. Then you're going to need the brand new Delicate Ornaments Thinlets dies. And I'm going to be using this die for this particular tutorial. For our cardstock, we're going to need the following. We're going to need a piece of cherry cobbler cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We're also going to need a piece of the new designer's season of cheer paper. You're going to want to get a sheet of paper cut at four inches by five and a quarter. You'll need a piece of whisper white cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And then you'll also need a piece of Whisper White for the inside of the card, cut at four inches by five and a quarter. And also for the inside of the card, you're gonna need another piece of those, two pieces of the Designer Series papers. You're gonna need a piece cut at one and a half by four inches. You'll need two, two pieces of those. Then you'll need two pieces of the Cherry Cobbler cut at a quarter inch by four inches. Then we're also going to need some scrap piece of paper. We're going to need a scrap piece of paper, Whisper White, Cherry Cobbler, and Old Olive. For our stamp sets, we're going to need these three colors. The Soft Sky, the Cherry Cobbler, and the Old Olive. Okay, so let's get started making this card. First, you're going to want to take your piercing mat with the three, th three and three quarter sheet of Whisper White paper by five and then you're going to want to take the swirly border with the old olive and we're going to want to make a border at the top. Once you're done making that border you're going to want to take the so or the soft sky and edge around that piece of paper. Once you've done that, you're going to want to take the softly falling textured embossing folder and run this piece of paper through your Big Shot. I'm going to run and do that right now and I will be right back. Then you have this beautiful background piece of paper all ready to go. Next, we're going ahead and we're going to take our ornament and run that right through the Big Shot using our scrap piece of old olive and cherry cobbler because we need one of each color and I've already done that to save some time. I'm going to set that aside. Next we're going to want to go ahead and stamp our sentiment using our scrap piece of whisper white. We're going to want to stamp two sentiments, one in old olive and one in cherry cobbler. Once I'm done stamping my sentiments, I'm going to take my two inch circle punch and I'm going to punch out my sentiment. Next I'm going to take my paper snips and cut out the wishing you. Okay, once I've cut out my wishing you, I'm going to adhere this onto this piece of wishing you 
using my multi-purpose glue. Next, I'm going to take my two and three quarters scallop punch using my scrap piece of paper, red cherry cobbler, and I'm going to punch out a scallop circle. I'm also going to take the edges of the circle with a sponge dauber and my cherry cobbler, and I'm going to ink around the edges. There you go. Now I have my pieces all set. I'm going to adhere them to my card. I'm going to take, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals. And adhere this also onto my card. Now I'm going to do the inside of my card. I'm going to take my Whisper White sheet of cardstock, cut at four inches by five and a quarter. I'm going to take some monohesive glue, multi-purpose glue, and I'm going to put this right on the edge of that Whisper White. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other piece designer series paper and then I'm also going to adhere the cherry cobbler Next, I'm going to stamp my sentiment, my Happy Christmas, and I'm going to use Old Olive. And then I'm going to adhere this. And there you have the card, isn't that beautiful? Now I just add a little bit more bling and a quick line. I have a pair of pizzazz pen that I'm going to draw a line to connect my ornaments to this nice dangling border. Then I'm going to add some cherry cobbler and some dazzling details. I like to add the dazzling details right on the border line here of my ornament. Then I'm going to add some cherry cobbler right at the top, just like so. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my, check out my blog at www.checkthisout.com dot stampin' up dot net. Happy stamping.